Dracaris. Things need to be shot faster, and they need to be turned around faster. And this whole journey of Game of Thrones has been one of figuring out how to rise to that occasion. We're pushing the boundaries here all the time. All eyes are on us, and we're trying to do things that nobody's done before. But showing up each year with a new stack of things to do that is fun. It's much more than a job. It is our way of life. There's a lot about working on a project like this that's like joining the circus. We move 10,000 miles away from home and we put up our tent to put on our little show and then we tear the tent down and move it somewhere else. We have four supervisors on the ground with us starting out. Now we have 24 previous people, three additional supervisors. A number of concept artists, multiple visual effects editors, and the team that works with me sort of in air traffic control has grown to five and six strong, and there's quite a bit of air traffic to control at this point. The biggest challenge for visual effects is defining what the workload is. From the scripts, we have a really good general idea of what we're doing, but for us, it comes down to the individual shots. Every shot defines a method. Seasons two and three, we were looking at six and 800 shots in a given season. Now we're looking at multiples of that in a single episode. It's a remarkable demand on our team. It's hard to say what's my favorite shot because we've done so many, but the one that's in my mind right now is the Frozen Lake. Syrian does a strafe, which we follow, and then we tilt up just in time for Drogon with Danny on his back to land on the island, and we're running with the whites toward the dragon, and he strafes us and wipes us all out. Syrian's death. That was an amazing moment. We're contributing what is effectively a character in the show that needs to behave in a way that elicits an emotional response from the viewer. It's a really special thing as a visual effects person to be able to play that kind of a role. You can tell when the animators get very excited about what they're doing and they start making really gorgeous performance when the Night King puts his hand on, on the dead dragon and the camera's scraping right along his scales. I mean, all of that had to look uh, absolutely real. What I'm going to miss the most is the daily creative exercise. I'm not kidding, we've done more than 10,000 visual effect shots. I don't expect to ever be able to work with a group of people who are as devoted and talented and determined to do the best thing for this long. This is a once in a lifetime perfect storm moment where a bunch of insanely creative people come together to pull out something that none of us thought could be done, would be done, should be done. What are we going to miss about it? Oh my God, all of that. This is certainly very memorable. <laughs> I don't know what the emotional impact is going to be when we finally deliver the last shot, because I've been 100% living the show year round for five years. I think it's going to be a big life change for everybody. <laughs>